kids, how are you? I'm teacher Danny and today we're going to learn about first conditional. This class is not going to be here in my classroom. I'm going to do it outside. So I'm going to use some secret powers and teleport me outside. It looks, um, it looks very sunny. Oh my god. There is a lot of sun here. Oh my god, I can't handle with that. I need sunglasses right now. Wait a second. Wow, I'm here again. <laughs> So, if I use sunglasses, I will protect my eyes from the sun. Oh, did you notice I used the first conditional? Have you ever used first conditional to tell up something? I don't know. Um, it's probably that you didn't notice about if you use it or not. Let me explain to you. The first conditional is a possible conditional. It's used to talk about possible future events and their likely results. Let me teleport to another place. Maybe here. Oh, it's very freezing. It's very cold outside. I'm in the North Pole. If I don't wear a coat, I will be sick. If I don't teleport again, I will get frozen, so let's go back! <sighs> Finally! Now I'm in my classroom. Again. So, if I don't teleport again, I will teach you about first conditional. <laughs> so, as I said, um, we're going to talk about possible events that might be happening right now, I don't know, maybe. The first conditional uses the following elements. If plus pronoun or noun plus present tense plus comma plus pronoun or noun plus will plus present tense. For example, if I go to the beach, I will swim a lot. We're using if the pronoun I present tense in go to the beach, a comma to separate the first sentence, the pronoun I again, the future tense will, and the rest of the sentence as you use in the present tense. I have more examples for you. If today is sunny, I will play in the park. If I study for the exam, I will pass it. Have you checked that we're using the same structure? Yes. Good job! But what will happen if I say the future action first? I have an example. I will visit my grandma if the taxi arrives soon. In that case, the future action begins and we continue with the possibility without a comma. I have more examples. Um, she will celebrate her birthday if she has enough money. John will swim in the pool if it's sunny outside. You can find this explanation in your week's mission and also you will do some activities to practice this lesson. Keep practicing first conditional. Talk about possibilities with your parents, friends, teachers maybe. Actually, you can discover new possibilities for you. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm Teacher Danny. Good luck. Bye-bye.